This is the bittersweet end. The last day. The last day. Last day for kids. Last day for staff as well. Okay, today's the next day after the kids left, all the staff left, and there's only a few of us still on camp. We're cleaning the office and all of the program spaces. It's a lot, but it's fun. It's also like, it's just nice being up here in the nature with, um, things to do but also just enjoying the view look I get to see the sunset and I honestly don't ever sit down that much but it was nice very nice to um, see that Caught me right in action. It is.
Looks much better. Still got a few things to do, but it's uh, for the most part packed up good enough. And then, you know, next summer it's like, hopefully there's nothing that climbs into anything. So these are plastic that I put uh, plastic on everything. But I'm taking all the um, arts and crafts stuff pretty much out because I want to put it somewhere else. And so that we can keep everything together. So all the office stuff is in here for the most part. All right. And then this is also going to be out too. This is definitely the uh, upside of <laughs> driving the golf cart. This is definitely the amount of times we didn't hold on to something and everything flew out. Yep. Everything just flew out. All these clean paper towels. Well, dang it. Break. Clean paper towels. Well, I'm gonna use it for something. Anywho. This is the program room. Empty. It feels like a ghost town. I love it actually. So everything's packed up for the most part. Everything I put in plastic because honestly we don't know where mice can come from. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be as packed as it can get. I mean, everything will be you know pretty much wiped off or whatever, dusted uh, next summer. But for the most part, this is where we store kind of like the carnival stuff over here 
um, some of the kitchen stuff for the kitchen or the cooking class, baking class. There's program binders. So like in past years, people put a binder together for the next year, people. Um, more staff appreciation stuff up there. Everything's not labeled because I just, I'm not in the mood. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting the label, the, the post-its to label things. So I don't care. I, I'm over it. Um, it's kind of not rocket science. So right here is going to be more staff appreciation stuff, carnival stuff, whatever we can use. It. Those are tickets. These are mason jars. Things are donated and stuff. So that's kind of how life goes. Um, and more cooking stuff. These are the posters for inside the dining hall during meals. And then these are more crafts and stuff that I refuse to put on the shelf. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then this is a bag of um, more things for uh, carnival or um, any of the programmatic things. So everything's pretty much good. You can see it. It's nice and clean and clear. Um, the best we can probably make it right now. Eventually everything's going to be locked or whatever, and then we have other programs that come in to rent. This is the library. All the books are up off the thing onto the shelf and crates. Again, the plastic is to try to make sure that nothing gets to it, but let's be real. It, 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 there's a possibility that the rats might get to it. Um, the couches are put up on a table. Again, this is just to try to <laughs> get them not to get all over it. Bathroom. This is the cooking class, cooking slash baking class. Uh, we leave the fridge open just because we don't want nothing to get a nest in it. I'm leaving all of these open too, just because again, we don't want to open it next summer and then be scared. Now, again, other places rent out our spaces. I don't know which classrooms are going to be necessarily used or not, but it's just to keep it open for now. Another bathroom. This is the computer class. Com computer room, we use it as singing this summer. Uh, all of the computers are unplugged. This is the closet where we store, uh, once again, more things. All the igloos from our camp. We have like robotics. We haven't had robotics class in a while. Um, we have poster paper, which I probably should stack higher, but I'm not in the mood. Again, we're going to try to do it as best as possible. Um, yes, with me and my lack of delegation. These are some a lot of um these are a lot of the these are a lot of the sleeping bags so sleeping bags we have you know you ask for donations from this past staff to give it to the next staff uh to use it for the summer so these are all pretty much um sleeping bags here and we have tables in the back um and then other miscellaneous nonsense that i'm not gonna throw out just yet Sleeping bags. And
next level funk. There's a lot of uh, garbage in here. <laughs> um, I sent a team of people to clean over here. But there's a lot of garbage still, so I'm going to take the garbage out. Uh, they left wet broom heads in there. So, that's life. Unfortunately, I clean after a lot of people who are also adults. So, this is my life. What the freak this is? This thing is huge freaking mungus. Look at this. This thing is huge. Look at that. Nah, bruh. That thing is huge. I've never seen that one before. I'm gonna leave that alone. Anywho. I just had to put some pine on the ground. It's disgusting. Like, it smelled like the dumpster times too. Anyway, so we store all of our, um, like our brooms, dustpans, garbage cans, waste baskets in here. Hiking. All of the bags need to be hung up. The rest back there is tents that we haven't used in a while. Um, just because of COVID restrictions. These are also extra hiking bags. And then we have some grills here. Uh, that we use for the fire. Back there is some water hoses. And uh, yeah. Those are ground. Ground brushes. Mops. There's. I'm pretty sure there's more people who forgot to bring their um, brooms and dustpans. Because... There's several different bird, uh, bathhouses, and I only have two garbage bins. So I really am contemplating, do I drive around to every single bathhouse and collect what people should have already brought? And then again, it's like, this is why I go hard for cleaning, because it's hard. Asking for help is hard. Um, I'm going to throw this stuff in the dumpster, and then try to finish closing up everything so I can then lock the doors to these places. Um, yes, it's a lot of going back and forth, honestly.
Thanks for enjoying this video. Um, it's a little snippet into my camp life. I do a little bit of everything. And especially now that I'm finished with school, I can now fully focus on my first year as a teacher. So that's gonna come up soon. Um, I'm excited to see which classroom I'm gonna have. And um, I already know who I'm working with, but I'm really excited to um, pick her brain and, and really be able to flow with each other. Um, and kind of have our own set classroom routine and setup. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this new this new role. I've been a teacher's assistant for eh, like three and a half years now, so I think it's time. It, I I think I I'm I'm ready. I mean, I'm gonna do a little vacationing in between, and then set up the classroom and really be able to start filming more. Bye.